everyone welcome back to another video and in today's video we have this 2022 Chevrolet Equinox and we're going to do the side chrome delete installation for this vehicle so this is how it looks before the installation it's just a chrome design of the door and this is how it looks after the installation so we use the gloss black material just to show the difference with the matte and the gloss if you like the product link for the product will be down in the description below but with that being said let's get started with the installation video okay so before starting the installation we want to prep the panel so just apply slip solution onto a clean microfiber towel and then start removing any contaminants that the chrome panels might have. And make sure everything is dry afterwards. Okay, so we're going to start off with a small piece first. So just make sure you're giving yourself enough material to cover this side. And then you will have excess material for this end here. This edge here will just trim it off. Okay, and then we'll just apply heat just to help the film tack down to the curve here and then trim off any excess material. Okay, and for the front piece, we're just going to align it right here on this edge first. So make sure you're giving yourself enough material to cover the chrome on this edge and use the bottom half of the chrome panel as a guide in order to align it. And just reach it up to the end here. And then once you have everything secure, grab your squeegee and start tagging it down. Because there is a gap here, but you are gonna need to just heat up in order for the film to stay tacked down. So just move this and give yourself some room and then just tack down the rest. And then once we're done, we're going to apply heat all around and then trim off any excess material. And then the same steps that we did for this piece, we would do it for the rear door. So it's just rinse and repeat, align it from this end, and then work your way to the other end. Okay, so for the rear door, we're just going to start off from this edge here. Align it, give yourself enough material, and it's just rinse and repeat the same steps as we did with the front one. Make sure you can use the bottom half of the chrome as a guide. And this one's going to end right here on the cutout here of the quarter window. So it's not going to cover all the way up to here, it's just going to cut out here. And then just tack it down and then apply heat and then we'll move on with this section here. Okay, so for this one, we want to start off by lining it right on this edge first. To start off, just leave the film right here first to work on this edge. So just align it right on the edge, making sure you give yourself enough material to cover the edge here. So that should be good. And then just before you secure it, we wanna make sure you have enough to reach each end. So this side's good. And just double check, this one should be good. It just needs to be adjusted. So once you see that both sides are good, then we can start tacking it down. So just lift the film once again, tack it down, help it tack down to the curve. Once this section is good to go, then you work your way to each section. So we'll start off here. Make sure it's aligned on the bottom half. Tack just the flat surface down because on the curved side we'll apply heat to help it tack down because it is going to lift if we don't apply heat. And then same here, lift the film just to adjust it and just make sure you're giving yourself enough material to cover the chrome here. So it should be good there. And then just start squeegeeing and tacking down everything. And now we're just going to apply heat on the edges here and helping it tack down on the bottom half here and on this curve here and on the side panel here as well. Okay, and then once you're done heating everything, trim off any excess material that you have. And then once you're done trimming, post heat all around. Okay, so the last thing to do once we finish trimming off everything is just post heating so we can help the adhesive act very faster and it doesn't lift over time. Okay. 
Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the side crumble leads for the 2022 Chevrolet Equinox. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.